Hello, I'm Amos Miller. I'm head of brass at the Royal Birmingham Conservatoire. We thought it would be a lovely thing to do to commission a brand new work to celebrate the cohort of our amazing students who are graduating in these unprecedented circumstances. Whilst we may not be together physically, we are still very much together musically and the students have approached this project with their usual fantastic combination of enthusiasm, virtuosity and open-heartedness and I couldn't be prouder of them. So without further ado, let me introduce the world premiere online of Ryan Linham's The Legend of the Lockdown Leavers. I think it's a terrific piece and I hope you really enjoy it. Can I start by welcoming everyone who has joined us for this virtual graduation? And in particular, of course, I want to welcome our graduating students, but also your friends, families and supporters and everyone who's been able to join us online. Welcome to, to my colleagues from Birmingham City University and in particular to the academic staff who've supported you during your studies. Graduation is always such a special occasion 
And it's something that many of you will have been dreaming about. And I'm sure there have been points, particularly in this last year, when it felt a very long way away. What you've achieved is special and it's important. And that's why normally we mark graduation with a great deal of pomp and ceremony, why you come across the stage wearing the formal gowns and the caps, which for centuries have recognised that important new status as graduates. And we'll make sure that you still have that moment. Once we're able to hold gatherings again, every single student graduating will be invited to an in-person ceremony to mark your achievement in the traditional way. But in the meantime, we didn't want to let the completion of your studies, the moment of your achievement, pass by without celebration and without fanfare. And so I'm really glad that you've been able to join us from wherever in the world you may be. Because one of the things that we've learned over the past challenging year is that these virtual events give us a unique opportunity to bring people together wherever they're physically located. And so whether you're watching this in your home in Birmingham or as far away as China or India or Nigeria or any one of the more than 100 different countries from which our student body is drawn, welcome. Welcome to this, your virtual degree celebration. Now, achieving any degree always calls for a lot of hard work and calls for resilience and determination. And if you look back at the journey that you've been on, if you ask yourself what you know now, what you are able to do now compared with what you were able to do at the start of your course, I'm sure you'll be astonished at how far you've come and how much you've learned. And what I want to recognise in this virtual ceremony is how much harder this has been in this last year. Reserves of determination and resilience and the ability to maintain your focus at a time that's inevitably been deeply testing for us all. Graduation is always special, but you will know what a special achievement your graduation this year has been. You're now BCU graduates, and we are immensely proud of you. We all look forward to the day when we can celebrate in person. The world around us is, of course, changing, and it's changing faster than any of us will ever have seen before. That was true before the pandemic, and the pandemic has only accelerated the magnitude of that change. And while the world is uncertain right now, graduates like you are going to continue to be in demand from employers. Because graduates are a natural choice now for employers. They want the skills that you've developed. They want the knowledge you've acquired. They want your ideas and your enthusiasm. And above all, they want your ability to deal with a changing world, responding to its challenges and seeking out the new opportunities. And even before the pandemic, I would have told you that the nature of work was changing and that most of you would have more than one career and that you would need to continue to learn and develop new skills and new understandings in order to move forward in your lives. And this is even truer now. Across the world, almost every country and every society will have been deeply disrupted by the pandemic. Its impact will be felt immediately and for years to come. But we believe that this is only going to make graduates more essential in every country, in every society. Because of your education, you've already started to develop the skills that will enable you to adapt and to respond. You'll be able to give back to society and to make a difference. When I wrote to you to invite you to this celebration, I said education has a special power to transform lives. And education has already had an impact on your lives and it's now going to go on to make that difference to the lives of others. We see examples of this almost every week. And over the past 12 months, I have been so proud of our students and our staff across the university, working selflessly for the benefit of others, supporting the IT networks in our healthcare system, organising volunteer networks, using our facilities to make PPE to protect staff on the front line. And of course, 
I do want to pay particular tribute to our many, many students on nursing and other programmes for the health professions who went out into practice early in order to ensure that our health service could meet the demands that were being placed upon it. It's not something that we ever imagined we would need to ask of you, and you stepped up brilliantly. This is going to be a challenging time for societies around the world, and your skills and your knowledge are going to be at the heart of helping societies to recover and at the heart of building a better world for the future. Whatever you go on to do, we hope you will stay in touch with us so that we can continue to take pride in your achievements. The great strength of BCU, as you will know, is that it's a community. You, our students, told us that being part of BCU meant something. It meant pride, confidence, belonging. That's what sits behind the I am BCU strapline. And you're now part of our alumni body. You're part of BCU for life. So as you take your next steps, please remember that you're not alone. You have the staff who've supported you, some of whom you will hear from shortly. You have your family and, of course, you have the friends that you've made whilst at BCU. We have great pride in you and great confidence in what you will go on to achieve. And we would like to celebrate today your special achievement. So I hope you enjoy this celebration. It is for all of you. Thank you. Hello and welcome to your very special virtual graduation celebration. As Chancellor of Birmingham City University, things you never thought you'd hear yourself say, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to this celebration. It might look a little bit different to what you were imagining when you first stepped through the university doors all those years ago. Back then, Netflix and chill meant a hot date. Now it's official government health advice. But let's make one thing clear from the start. It does not change the magnitude of your achievement. In fact, given everything you've had to contend with over the past year, it's completely astounding. We are all in awe of you. We are. I would give you a standing ovation, but like everybody working from home, I haven't worn trousers since last Easter. But whether you're in your bedroom, your grandmother's kitchen, or sitting in the garden with your family dog, I want you to give yourself a great big cheer and raise the roof. You've done it. You completed your degree. So don't be shy. Let your neighbours know about it. It's payback time for all those Amazon parcels they nicked off your front doorstep. In fact, never mind raise the roof. Let's shout it from the rooftops. You are a graduate after all. Ready? On three. BCU posse in full effect. One, two, three. Each and every one of you celebrating today has shown dedication and personal commitment to be here. You stand at the beginning of the next chapter of your lives. You're on the bottom rung of a ladder, which will take you to exciting new careers and opportunities. You could even be prime minister one day, prime minister. Apparently the only qualifications are floppy hair and not knowing how many kids you've got. You're ready to make a positive difference to the world around you. You, my friends, are the class of 2021. The most chaotic, turbulent, shocking year since way back in 2020. No one will ever forget you. Just by being here, you've shown that you've got resilience, determination, a commitment to hard work, and most importantly, the ability to stealthily go on Tinder during a Zoom lecture, isn't it? And those things are going to stand you in such good stead as you embark on the next stage of your lives. Look at you all. You didn't think you'd get here. You didn't think you'd stay the distance. It seemed too hard, too overwhelming, too exhausting. And I was just doing those Joe Wicks YouTube workouts. But you did it and you're here, celebrating as all of your hard work has paid off. Well done, you. It's an honor for me to be here with you, joining the celebrations as you mark the beginning of your professional lives I'm looking forward to the time when I can see your happy, smiling faces in front of me in a physical celebration, wearing those funny hats 
and me in the big fancy black robes looking like a Harry Potter film directed by Spike Lee. But until we can do that, we're gonna have a great time today, aren't we? Behind the screen, just like we've all gotten so used to over the past few months. And I know that you might not have the official cap to wear just yet, but if you have a little look in your box of goodies that we sent out to you, there's something that will do the job for today. So go on, get out, get that out. It's a, it's a cardboard cap. You got it? Put it on. Don't be shy. There's nothing humiliating about wearing a cap, unless it's a red one that says Trump 2024. Now you've got to get a photo taken. That's right, because this is a very special day, regardless of where we physically are. You should all be so very proud of yourselves. You are graduates of Birmingham City University. Now, normally at this point in the ceremony, I would say something about whether you would imagine this moment when you started here. But as we've already established, unless you have psychic powers or something, the answer is probably a resounding no. The world around us is changing all the time. And during your final year, you've seen bigger changes than any of us could ever have imagined. We've seen the end of President Trump and the beginning of President Biden. That's right, America is replacing an old white guy accused of harassing women with, well, it's a start. And not a moment too soon after his supporters stormed the Capitol building this week. I haven't seen that many angry white people since COVID scientists said you shouldn't kiss your pets on the mouth. Trump's legacy is so toxic, Disney are going to digitally replace him in Home Alone 2 with Kevin Spears. Even the new stuff is changing, like the new COVID trains. That thing has more updates than Windows 10. And most importantly, you've changed too. Hopefully you've learned a lot and acquired some knowledge, some skills, and maybe even an idea of what you want to do with them. But you'll also have learned things about yourself. You might have changed your politics, beliefs, even your ambitions. Mine have gone from be a Marvel superhero to get a haircut. Although in both cases, you do get to wear a cape. University provides you with a place to meet people from all sorts of different backgrounds, a place where your existing beliefs and values can be challenged. It's a place where you find out the type of person you're going to be. And of course, it's a place where you'll build a strong and lasting friendship with some of those people from different backgrounds. Some of them will be your friends. Some might be more than friends. Although if you figured out how to snog each other whilst maintaining a two meter distance, best keep it to yourselves. Just think, in 20 years, you could be sitting with your friends, talking about that strange day back in February, 2021, when you all sat in front of a computer screen with a little paper hat on to celebrate the biggest achievement of your life to date. No one will ever take these things from you. Not the achievement and pride in what you've done, nor the sense of belonging you feel when you meet another BCU graduate. Because your BCU journey is not ending here. You're going to be part of a community of people who are all proud of your achievements, who all support one another and cheer each other on. The BCU community is very special indeed. I, Lenny Henry, am proud to be a part of the community and have spent a very happy and fulfilling five years as chancellor here. Things were very different back then. Boris was still a figure of fun, rather than a beleaguered PM. Since he got the job, he spent so little time in bed, his hair started to look normal. And then last year, they gave me another title, Visiting Professor. This is a title which I'm equally proud to hold, because it is linked to the work of the Selenium Henry Centre for Media Diversity. We launched the centre right at the beginning of lockdown, but I'm really pleased to say that its work has continued. We are conducting research with the ultimate aim of making sure all of society is represented across the media. This will ultimately help to support a fairer, more inclusive landscape where young people from all backgrounds have no limits placed on their dreams and ambitions. And we're starting to see that diversity at last. Is anybody watching Bridgerton on Netflix? A Regency story about a rich white girl falling in love with a cool black guy. It's basically Downton Abbey meets the Kardashians. Now, um, <clears throat> I became Chancellor of BCU because I believe passionately in education and the power of education to transform lives. Just before the pandemic, I officially opened a centre in King Standing that BCU is running with a charity called Inter University. 
The centre is based in an area where few young people go into higher education and offers academic support and mentoring to promote the aspirations of the young people who live there. And the day we opened the centre showed exactly why we need something like it. There were kids there as young as 10 or 11 who were dreaming big and had been encouraged to follow those dreams. I even met the most talented 13-year-old juggler you'll ever see, who's determined to make it big in entertainment. I don't doubt that he will. After all, I've still got his business card. Schemes like this are vital because they help young people to overcome barriers which are put in their way, help them to achieve their potential and start to level the playing field for youngsters from disadvantaged backgrounds. They address the vicious circle which these young people find themselves in, showing them that higher education could be for them and developing skills to help them get there. Birmingham is a place full of opportunity, but we need to keep working to ensure that young people from all backgrounds have access to these opportunities, regardless of which postcode they were born in or which school they went to. Mmm, Jamaican tea with a bit of rum in it. Now, being part of BCU means grabbing every opportunity that comes your way. But make sure you ask first. You're not the last US president or the next US president. You'll have had endless opportunities whilst you've been with us. Expert guidance and teaching from your tutors and lecturers, the input of industry experts, the addition of career-related skills into every course, and the chance to get to grips with how to apply your learning in the real world. Plus, you haven't had to waste time getting dressed for lectures. Now, take all of the skills you've developed and use them to help you flourish. Get out there and make the world a better place. Let's face it, right now the bar is so low, it might as well be a Weatherspoons for little people. Don't forget the wealth of resources we have here to help you as you step out into the labour market, whether that's careers advice as you start your job hunt or support for those with a more entrepreneurial mindset. You have access to these resources as a member of the BCU community, so use them wisely. This community is made up of people from all walks of life, each with their own story to tell. This is the latest chapter in your story and you will now go on to write the next one as you embrace the opportunities which come your way. And no matter what obstacles you encounter on the road or head, no matter how difficult and scary it might seem, just remember, it cannot be as bad as being stuck in the house with your family. Congratulations, enjoy your day, and look forward to seeing you in real life very, very soon. My name is Seleni Henry. I'm so sorry for the banging about upstairs. I love you, be cool. Be happy. Put your put your cardboard hat on. I'm going to put this on. And give one more cheer. Hooray! Hello, and welcome to your graduation ceremony. My name is Professor Ian Blair, and I'm Pro Vice Chancellor and Executive Dean of your faculty, the Faculty of Health, Education, and Life Sciences. We all have had to get used to virtual gatherings since spring of last year, but this, this is not just any gathering, this is your graduation, a very special day indeed. Of course, we would all rather be in the imposing grandeur of the International Convention Centre, together, in person, celebrating the achievement of each and every one of you. Sadly, that is not to be. Well, not yet anyway. But let's not focus on what we're missing. Graduations are always a very special time in the BCU calendar and today is still a day for celebration and heartfelt applause, albeit virtually. COVID-19 may mean that we will not have the opportunity to celebrate in person together, but this has not changed what is at the very core of this, your graduation day, to formally mark your achievement and success, allowing us to express our shared pride in all you have achieved to get to this milestone. But these are strange times, and for society it has been a particularly difficult time. It has been no less difficult for you though, as you've endeavoured to navigate your final year of university life or postgraduate studies in these Covid days. Each year we feel a real sense of pride in our graduates, and this year is no different. If anything, our sense of pride is deeper and more poignant given the challenges you've had to overcome. 
I want to thank you for how you faced this academic year as we've had to move our teaching online, reduce social contact with new rules and practices, pause face-to-face -face teaching and halt many other social activities. This has resulted in a buzzing campus hushed and your student experience ending in a markedly different manner than it began. But you've been determined, resolute and remain positive throughout, pushing through adversity and finishing brilliantly in the face of these challenges. I am so proud of you all. There is an old Arabic proverb which says, sunshine all the time makes a desert. It alludes to the fact that difficult times are often a time of growth, cultivating personal depth and perseverance. We in the faculty have seen that in so many of you. I have the particular honour and take great satisfaction in leading the faculty which does most to support so many key worker sectors in the West Midlands. Where would we have been over the last 10 months without our NHS workers, our teachers, our scientists and our social workers? And the faculty produces a very large proportion of the workforce in each of these areas. Our employment rate is over 95% within six months of graduation. Let's make no bones about it. You graduates are in huge demand. You will be joining teams made up from like-minded BCU graduates and starting your careers in hugely worthwhile, socially invaluable areas. I take my hat off to you and salute the progress you have made to get to this point. Graduates, we are delighted for you. You've had an incredibly tough year, but we look forward to hearing all about your successes and wish you all the best for the future. Congratulations, class of 2020. None will better you for tenacity and achievement. Please enjoy the rest of this virtual graduation ceremony. Thank you and goodbye. Hello. My name is Hannah Abbott and I am Head of School of Health Sciences. I am delighted to be part of your graduation celebration today and would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you all on your achievements. It has been our pleasure and our privilege to be part of your journey and I know I speak for the whole school when I say we are incredibly proud of you all. You have been part of our school during some significant events in our history. You were some of the first students to be taught in our new building and our specialist new facilities. For our sports and life science graduates, you are our first graduates and I have been so impressed by the work you have all produced, particularly in your final projects, one of which that won the BASE's Undergraduate Dissertation of the Year Award. For our graduates on our health courses, you have completed your studies during a global pandemic, with many of you volunteering for deployment to support the NHS during this challenging time. As allied health professional graduates continuing in your chosen careers, you will forever be part of the history of the NHS as it faces its greatest challenge. And for that, we thank you. In addition to congratulating you our graduates today, I would also like to extend my appreciation to all those who have supported you throughout your studies. You may have heard people refer to academic studies as a marathon and not a sprint. And like the best marathons, it is so often those cheering us on, which really helps us get to the finish. I am sure you will be celebrating with those within your household today and online with other friends and family. So please do raise a glass to them and your academic teams who have supported you along the way. I hope you have enjoyed your time studying as part of our vibrant and diverse school community. As staff, students and graduates across our different courses, we are united by our commitment to improving lives. This may be via direct patient care, through sport and physical activity, or through scientific research. As you graduate today, you are joining our many alumni who are using their knowledge and skills in careers which make a real difference to individuals and the wider community, both within the West Midlands and throughout the world. I hope you enjoy this virtual graduation today. 
On behalf of the school, I would like to congratulate you on your achievements and wish you every success in your future careers. We are all very proud of our graduates and our BCU community. So please do keep in touch as we would love to hear about, about your exciting careers and achievements. Congratulations to our speech and language therapy students. We hope you enjoy your special day and we wish you lots of luck in your new career. Huge congratulations from the Operating Department Practice and Paramedic Science team. We are all so proud of what you have achieved. Congratulations to all Diagnostic Radiography students graduating today and to everybody else. Well done and all the best in your future careers. Hi, MPA class of 2020. This is Olatunde, your program lead. On behalf of MSC Public Health Teaching Team, I want to congratulate you on successful completion of your program and wish you all the best for the future. On behalf of the Operating Department Practice Team here at Birmingham City University, I'd like to say a massive congratulations to each and every one of our students. We are so immensely proud of everything that you have achieved. Just to say many congratulations to all the radiotherapy students who are graduating today. Well done on all your hard work from all of us in the radiotherapy team here at Birmingham City University. Good luck for the future everyone. congratulations on your graduation well done for all your hard work and we wish you every success in the future congratulations on achieving your graduation from bcu and i want to wish you all the best in your future I just wanted to say congratulations to everybody graduating today, but in particular to the speech and language therapy students. Uh, keep going and being amazing speech and language therapists. I'm Claire Zawada from the Department of Radiography. I just wanted to say congratulations to all of our students who are due to graduate. We are so proud of every single one of you. Congratulations to everyone who's graduating from the BSc in Speech and Language Therapy. You're the future profession, so go out there and be brilliant. Hello, I just want to send my congratulations to you for graduating from our Sports Therapy Programme at Birmingham City University. I'm incredibly proud of you as you are in the very first cohort to graduate from this course and I want to wish you all the very best in your career. I know you're going to have a great one and please do uh, keep in contact. All the best. On behalf of the biomedical sciences course team I just want to congratulate all the biomedical science students on their graduation today and wish them good luck in their future endeavours. Hi everyone, 
massive congratulations on your graduation. Hope you enjoy it. Um, it's been fantastic working with you over the last few years and best of luck for the future. Congratulations to everybody achieving their qualification. It's all down to your hard work, persistence and, and resilience. So well done and enjoy your day. Yitandru Kayat Olewola. A big thank you to my husband, Nelaba Midi Olewola, my children, Fas, Fasil, and Faiza, and to all my family, and Dr. Latunde. Thank you all. John Robert Garnett. Zoe Marie Hunt. Kara Allen. Halim Ahmed Stella Nguifo Tahita Murray Rosona Mam Kocampos Romina Haida Sana Iqbal Stacy Denise Kirby Taya Iqbal Rebecca Grace Crawford Natalie Jane Willis Amalna Philip R. May Thomas Zaina Ali Ravandeep Sahota Joseph Whitehouse Samaya Abdurauf Mark Bunce Jamie Louise Deal Rye Ross Ashley McWalter Donna Pyatt Rachel Williams Armandeep Kaur Emily Botten Rebecca Isabella Leinker Hope Louise Prosser Emmeline Pugat Mary Grace Dozer Balin Asma Mansour Michelle Manungo Siobhan Mary Pierce Rachel Stiles Lisa Taylor Haley Treadway Silvia Zalwango Kenneth Andrew Michael Hearn Michael Joseph Roper Anthony O'Neill